some podcasts you look at them, you're like, settle down and have some fun. <laughs> Mohawk Bob here with Fire Night TV and Thunder Night Entertainment. So we're going to have a little contest here. Who's got bigger muscles? Ready, Let's see them, baby. Mohawk Bob here. I want to welcome Sarah Kornhauser. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. What's new with you? Not too much. I'm prepping for Charlotte Pro Cup. Well, let's get in some fun questions. Okay. Well, let's first tell us about yourself. An IFBB Figure Pro. This is my 10th year competing. Southern girl. Oh. Transplanted to Colorado. Where'd you grow up? North Carolina. Oh, nice. I've had some friends move down there. So that's cool. Cool. And what brought you to Colorado to begin with? My husband's job. Okay, so is he a native as well, or or uh, for Colorado? I mean, you no, know? he's from North Carolina. Oh, both of you are. How did you get into bodybuilding? What started that for you? Always been athletic. Yeah, uh, and I started as a CrossFitter. Okay, which, but as I got older, I started getting hurt, and bodybuilding just seemed like a natural segue. Natural fit. Yeah, still can be competitive, but I'm not being crazy with competing and. You know, with weights and but how much exercising and weightlifting or whatever you do goes into your day to keep you in physical shape once i start prep it gets a little more intense so right now i'm doing mobility for an hour lifting for an hour and then i either box or do krav uh, oh Maga. krav maga and, yeah and then in the evening i'll lift for another hour and do maybe 10 15 minutes of cardio do you have time for anything else and you do that every single day? Uh, five days a week, and then Saturday and Sunday, I play it by ear to see how my body feels. There you go. And have a little fun on the weekend. Tell us about some of the achievements and awards that you have received over the years. In 2015, I won the title of Miss Colorado Physique. Well, that's awesome! That is. And then that qualified me to go on to a national level competition. And where was that at? Uh, yeah, Pennsylvania, so Pittsburgh. Okay. And then I turned pro at, in North Americans, which is a big national show for the IFBB, and that was in 2016. 2018, I moved down to figure just because the girls were getting so big in women's physique, I could not hang. Yeah. Figure is just a little more feminine. Um, and in 2019, I got second at the Kentucky Pro. The field is probably very difficult. Oh, it is. I mean. Yeah, all the girls are amazing. The time they put into it, like you, astounds me. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Now, do you go around to other cities and do this as well? So there are no local pro shows. Okay, none so, here in Denver at all. None in Colorado. Yeah. So I have to travel. Yeah. So this year I'll go to Charlotte and I might go to Salt Lake City. I'll definitely go to Tampa and maybe New York. And does your husband love doing, does he go with you? He, get, he does what he can. Yeah. And, I mean, he's got to hold his job down and all that business, yeah. right? And take care of our dog. Yeah. yeah he can't leave her. So in the future, with Thunder Night Entertainment, you have a couple of roles. We're going to have you in uh, Professor Kimmer's Initiation mm -hmm. and in Dick Reno Monster Slayer. Are you excited? I am very excited. And this is totally going to be new to you? I have done a few a few gigs. I have, like yeah. a $48 film festival and then a couple of web series. but. Oh, so that's good. So you got a, you have a kind of a sneak peek to get into the business. A little, yeah. Well, we're going to drag you in kicking and screaming if you don't like it or not. So tell us about some of your hobbies that you do outside of bodybuilding. I really love hiking. I'm big into bow hunting. I love archery. A lot of like handgun competitions. Oh, nice! I would love to get into three gun competitions. It's just what's a three gun competition? So three gun would be handgun, uh, carabine, so like a rifle, and then a shotgun. Ammo's a little expensive right now, so yeah, yeah ammo's really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but I love to hike, so yeah. Where um, do you like going? We usually go up like Gunnison area, um, uh, Silver Jack. So it's a, between kind of Gunnison, Montrose, Uray area. Oh, okay. Um, gorgeous. Oh, I'll bet. We, we have beautiful mountains here in Colorado. Sure, yeah. I mean, we are very blessed. We are. I understand you're a personal trainer. Where where do you do that? I, tell us about the gym. 
I actually work out at Armbrust Pro Gym. Okay. So it's pretty famous in bodybuilding. It's also known as the Mile High Mecca. We have more pros than I think any other gym in the United States. That's amazing. So there's a lot of pros here there's in the Denver area. Yeah, there I are. would have had no clue on that. Colorado is very successful in putting out quality athletes that turn That are anywhere else. Yep. You have any big names that come in there that we need to know about? So it used to be the home of Phil Heath. He's he used to be Mr. Olympia, five-time Mr. Olympia. Oh, wow. So it's a pretty so big deal. Bit. Yeah. He's moved to Texas now, I think, but he still visits pretty regularly. Heather Grace, she was three times third in the world. Pretty big name. Yeah, that, that really is. I mean, I wish I was one of those names. Now, I understand you have a friend that has a supplemental company. I do. I have some great friends. So Jason and Tamika Robinson, they're both IFBB pros also. Okay. They own Prodigy supplements okay so that is actually how i get more vegetables in yeah than I currently do because i use their greens which actually taste really good for a green product well that's so good fruit and vegetables you know just shake it up drink it oh, okay yep i i've seen the ones in commercials that are pills for those two things yeah that's about as close as i would get to having that <laughs> this one it tastes like juice i do the mango flavor and it yeah so. it's that good yeah uh tell us about your role in the initiation so I get to play Cindy, and Cindy is a personal trainer. So I think you can do this job with your eyes closed, correct? I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, because if you can at this point, we're going to have real problems. There is a running scene I'm slightly concerned about, but... What do you have in the future for you? Probably like every IFBB pro, I want to qualify for the Olympia. For the Olympia, that's that's the big game. That is, that's our Super Bowl. Yeah, and what is... Where and when is that held? That is in November, and it actually just moved to Orlando. So oh, okay. It's been in Vegas, but... Because, I mean, you train a lot. And I think it helps to remember I get to train. I don't have to train. Yeah. Right? I'm fortunate enough to be healthy enough to train. I'm fortunate enough to be financially okay that I can train three hours a day. Yeah, I, I'll I, bet. I get to. I don't have to. Yeah. You know? And I, I would be in the category of I would have to do it with a whip behind me. <laughs> <laughs> How does our audience reach you if they need to? Probably the easiest way would be from my Instagram page is Sarah Corny. So K-O-R-N-Y. You are so corny. Oh. <laughs> and then underscore IFBB Pro. Very good. Well, I sure thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. And spending time with us. We are so grateful for you. Be so excited for the future with Thunder Night Entertainment. All right, my dear. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for coming on. Really appreciate it.